right, let's see what we got here. We got some broken spring hanger. Look at this. Look at this, huh? This is the only piece that's holding it on. I replaced this one when I first got this trailer 10 years ago. So I had I bought both of them and that one was still good. So now I'm gonna replace that one. I don't like the way I have this. It's gonna be hard to weld. I'm gonna lay it flat on its back like I did the first one. I thought at first I could lean it up against the Connex, but I don't like it. By the time I cut that out, I gotta hold it up in the air. No way. No way. So I got some blocks right here. I'm gonna pick this up, walk my tracks out, spin it so my tongue is here. Those blocks are for this because of this. We're not gonna break that or hit any air hoses. I wrap these up with my chains. Strap your uh, strap your ramps down with a strap like I did so they do not move because otherwise when you go to flip this upside down, the ramps go down and stick into the ground. That's not what I wanted to do there. This thing has to be upside down and on there. But the trailer's heavier than I thought. It was tipping the machine because I was fully out and all that. So I'm going to have to re-rig, put my, uh, my tracks in front of me like I want, and then try to get this up and around. I don't know. Hopefully the chain holds. Yes. It's going to be eventful. I'm trying to buy a new trailer as we speak. I have one this winter, and I let, didn't do it because I did work to this and... You know how it goes, and you do work, you think you got a new trailer again, but...
Well, we found a loose board. I think that's going to work. Anyway, just one. We'll try it. If it hits, it hits. We're going to do I'll carry this point. She's sitting on there flat. That's better. We found a couple loose boards, which is always good to know. Decided to wedge it into my Connex for some reason. I got all this room, but I want to be tight against that. I didn't want to hit this. That's the problem. I was up against my... It's tight down here. Got all, a lot of equipment back. Just finished the job and heading to the next and saw this, and I'm lucky I did. Um, so let's get to the problem. So... We will cut this out. Well, there's a new one there. And we might as well replace this one because that's rotted. And I patched that over the years and I just fell through the dang trailer.
the reason why I melt that side, even though that was a mushroom nut, like, you know, like a shoulder bolt, just to put the heat to break the way. You never know. Just give it an old one, two with the heat will make a difference. We'll get that out. I just wanted to assess to make sure there was no tension on anything. There shouldn't be. And I'll give it a one last hit. All right, everything's loose. Now I'll put a regular bolt like this through there instead of that kind of pin, just a regular bolt. I should have those in stock. Um, everything stays there, the shackle, the springs, and the, this hanger, okay? That stays there. You're gonna work this up and cut this loose, work this out, and then work the new one into it, if I remember correctly. But this will, once this is out, this, this piece is just hanging in there, it's just loose. We'll figure it out as soon as we cut this loose. All right, perfect. My welder is going to be here tomorrow between 11 and I don't have to do this. This is great. So I'll get some clips of him doing it. He's gonna bring an air arc tomorrow, blow this out, blow them out, put the new ones in. It's nothing to it. I could do it, I've done it there, like I said, but I mean, these welds held up 10 years, they're they're good, you know, they're, I did that with my Lincoln welder, everything looks good, so, so it's just that, uh, you know, professional and time, that's just the way it is right now. I gotta be hauling this trailer with the 160s going to dig a foundation, or no, I'm going to dig a hill out Monday. Uh, that's gonna be a cool project, one two day jobber with that in the Busa, and then I got a, um, uh, house to dig the following week. So this it's got to be an active unit here back on the road. Let's get to it All right all air arced out gonna cut these bolts off Jack up this axle, get that spring up and out of that equalizer. Get a ladder off now. Ladder down? Yeah. That should just slip right out, no? You got weight on it from the spring. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well that worked. Just lift it up on the axles, cut that one bolt, good to go. Grind this up, clean it up. This one's all air arced. Oh yeah.
too, right? Yeah, my We'll know we're in the right spot. Ready? Everything's tacked up here. We're lined up. Best way to do it so you don't have to get all your measurements is put your bolts back in just the way we did it. And then it becomes pretty much no brainer. Tack it, weld it, forget about it. in the back one now. All right, I just found this inch and a half pipe in the yard. We'll throw it in here, it fits perfect for a new pipe to connect these two. I'm gonna have to just hog that out. I got old weld on that end. Back one's almost done. Macadooski. One inch. Keep coming. Hat quarter. Oh, good. Tap it one little smidge. What's that? That much more. Good. Welders all cleaned up and gone. Just gonna finish putting the hardware in. I started doing a little bit of touch up paint on this thing and I'll have my son finish painting the rest of this, but uh, never sees on all the bolts. I had some new hardware here. Throw them all in. this new pipe 
welded in there on all sides which is nice that's gonna make it really sturdy so guys this trailer is gonna be coming up for sale um i'm gonna sell this trailer i mean like it's all brand new tires now that it's up down, upside down you can see it all the brakes are good the seals there's no leaking seals or no, no leaking seals or nothing um everything's maintained out here all the lights work like i said brakes work no air leaks everything's sound a uh, few boards here or there are missing but there's a you can see underneath you know what i mean it's your typical uh, underneath rust but there's no rot you know what i mean this is just surface stuff but everything's solid but this is coming up for sale i replaced that shackle about six years ago all these were done within the last year all these equal the not this is called an equalizer here but all your torsion bars right here these are all brand new and those so are those things so everything's pretty sound here um we're probably going to start at 8500 for this you know i think that's a solid number Ugga duggas. She's good. Yes, I almost did forget to tighten this one. She's ready to roll down the road. A couple uh, loose boards that we found in the process. You know what happens is these nuts rot out from the bottom or the screws and then the heads are popped, but you don't know, you know? Like here and here, the boards are still good. Just throw a couple doobies right there. You're good to go. We got a loose one. We knew this one was broke because I'll just put that back in for now, but treated lumber that works. Undo my strap. Everything's good, man. This is was a quick project, few hours. Not, you know, it's a bigger uh, process just thinking about it than actually doing it. But if you didn't flip this trail over, trailer over, you're talking days and then rigging and this and that. No way. Flip it over. You gotta have a machine to flip it over, but that's the only way to go. Hey, there's my board that fell out. Perfect. Let's see if we get this puzzle right. Oh. oh lordy like it never happened oh yeah well like i said guys this is for sale uh 8500 i think it's a solid price you guys might bid it up who knows um trailers are hard to find especially these ones with the c channel facing out i never use a d hook ever 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 because i just don't they're just i bind right to the side with the binder you could go anywhere you know and that's why the trailer i'm buying it takes me so long to find one because of that reason i don't want a smooth thing and have to try to find a spot with a chain and the next thing you know the chain's hooked on a link halfway and halfway then you hit one you hit one bump and boop, the chain comes loose you know what i mean nah not gonna happen Oh yeah, this is a Dyna Weld trailer and the GVWR is 50,000. It is a true 20 ton. 50,000 GVW. Contact info is in the description or on my page in uh, the about page. Email me. Anybody interested. Alright guys, catch you on the next one.